Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is not date or time specific. So whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, could be your message at that time. Um, welcome all cross watchers for Sagittarius. And for those of you, of you who are brand new to the channel, I'm glad you stumbled upon me. I'm going to pull from Cosmic Journey Oracle to activate the reading. Just a little message. All oh, card 43, 4 and 3 is 7. I love the spirituality. And it says, your lighthouse guides you home to the stars. Right? Follow your inner light. Beautiful. Yes. My saggy light workers. Many of you here. Um... We are in Gemini season, of course. Uh, Venus moved into Gemini right after the full moon in Sag, and Jupiter just moved into Gemini. So we have a new stellium there, a lot of energy building up in that sign. You may want to check your natal chart to see what house that falls in or houses if it's divided, um, what planets or points are there, because lots of positive, uplifting energy, new ideas, abundance expansion in communication feels really good um yes look at that ace of cups i'm pulling the twin flame soulmate spread we're looking at where you both are in this connection presently what your karmic challenges are opportunities divine guidance etc so we're opening with your shared energy. Where is this connection presently? Ace of Cups, love of a lifetime, a gift of love. Um, your present experience of this connection, we've got the Eight of Wands, which is, you know, kind of where the communication comes in, maybe opening channels of communication. Your person is with judgment. Here is about forgiveness, second chances, um, reconciliation, reunion, redemption if needed. Now, your karmic challenge here is the temperance card, which is associated with the sign of Sagittarius. Surprise, surprise. But temperance talks about like going with the flow and the wisdom of patience that tells you that in time, all the energies do come into flow and balance. So you want to focus on staying balanced in the, from the moment to moment of it all. Your person's karmic challenge is the Four of Cups. Feeling disenchanted in ma matters of the heart, unhappy, emotional distance. Perhaps they feel like they've missed an opportunity here, or they may be harboring some feelings of rejection. So this is what they're working on, and you know you have to kind of go with the flow. The opportunity is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is empathy. She is the empath of the tarot. It's about open-heartedness without being a doormat. And the divine guidance is the empress. Empress is divine feminine energy, open and receptive. I often feel that um, the queen of cups is sort of like the half sister to both the high priestess because she's very intuitive, but also to the empress because of her openness and, and her um, capacity for compassion and sensitivity. So I'm not necessarily seeing this queen of cups as a person in this situation. I'm just telling you what the energies are um, that are your opportunity between the two of you and, and to resolve any problems requires an open heart. When you communicate, do so with compassion and empathy and sensitivity. That's what I'm feeling. So let's look at the ace of cups. Whoa. 10 of swords the moon, the sun. Yeah, so I, I'm almost feeling like this relationship is a gift. This could be new love. This could be new love um, coming in after um, some kind of devastating loss so that you're starting to feel that sense of happiness um, rising up between the two of you. But I'm... I, I, like I, I'm feeling like if you've both met each other, if this is new love and you've met each other after you've both been through some form of um, terrible, devastating loss, painful endings, and it's all the nerves are frayed here and there's all this anxiety and worry and apprehension, but because this feels so good, you're going to kind of go with it. That's pretty much what I'm seeing here. The other um, possibility is that 
you know, you're going through some ups and downs. And so there are some insecurities rising to the surface that are telling you, uh oh, uh, I could be in trouble here. But, you know, but then it's like on the inside, you really want to come through this successfully. So I'm getting two different messages, and that's based on me taking everything into consideration. So let's see the Eight of Wands for you. All right, I am getting um, themes of reconciliation. So probably, definitely um, the divine timing of something, some manifested conversation is coming coming in. It's what you're focused on. You're looking to kind of um, mediate, negotiate, um, compromise here on some level. And it feels like you're ready for that. You're arriving at that point of what you're trying to manifest is uh, some kind of uh, exchange with each other where you are forging a win-win outcome. You're looking for where, where do we have common ground so we can resolve and reconcile the situation. So this could be new love, but it feels to me like it's more where you are coming back around and having a new opportunity in this connection, but certain things have to be reconciled. So let's look at judgment for your person. Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Devil. Wow. Um, the Devil energy is just sort of this person has um, some repentance. The judgment card is the repentance. Um, answering that call of, yes, I want a second chance. I'm going to release all my own fears and insecurities and egoic resistance. I see things clearly now. I know I want you in my life is what they're kind of saying. Queen of Pentacles. Um, I know I can count on you. You're solid. You're steady. Um, so they are coming in with some form of repentance for um maybe egoic fears controlling the pace of things um possibly being uh very demanding in the past so let's look at you with temperance in your karmic challenge ace of wands queen of swords hierophant well if you want commitment I definitely feel you're after some commitment and your karmic challenge is about, you know, slowing your role in the face of an opportunity. The Ace of Wands, Aces are gifts from spirit. So that's important to know. But sometimes we can have, um, sometimes we might lack a clear understanding of the timing. And so temperance is coming in with some timing. Same when the time is right, you know, like just bide your time, stay in that energy of flow and balance and keep your eyes sharp for when the time to take some action um, is is appropriate because it's if you're talking about something long term or more committed, which I'm getting a flavor around that, um, you know, you kind of have to go with the flow here. So in other words, the Ace of Wands is to you that moment where the inspiration rises up and you're very quick to take action. And your karmic challenge is to pull back on that and go, whoa, it's all about self-control and restraint when you see temperance. And so there's this need for some clarity around that for yourself. Um, the Queen of Swords is very level-headed, very pragmatic, checks her impulses and emotions at the door. Um, she is associated with the sign of Libra, so it is again about balance. Let's look at your person's karmic challenge with the Four of Cups. Wow. Four of Swords, High Priestess, Empress. Well, now the Empress is out twice. I feel this person has kept some secrets. Um, yeah, or hasn't communicated openly 
that they're healing from some disappointment, some, re you know, um, feelings of rejection. At first I thought maybe missed opportunity because of the judgment card, but I'm not seeing it that way. I feel like the fears for this person come from rejection or, or, or their perception of something that has left them unhappy. And they haven't really told you about it. They aren't really giving you a fair shot here with that empress from the bottom of the deck. It's, it's like in their unconscious awareness, you are their beloved, but they're still sort of nursing some wounds from the past, some rejection from the past, something where they have been disappointed um, in matters of the heart, and I'm not sure they have communicated this to you. If they have... Um, it, it could be that it might be a cause for separations between you for no communication or periods where this person goes radio silent. But I like that they're here seeing clearly that those, um, tendencies to operate from ego are in the way. Um, yeah, let's look at the queen of cups, the opportunity. compassion for the worry for yeah this is um each of you sort of coming to terms you know coming from um your softer side both of you i feel like the opportunity is to understand that there is a, a there are a lot of moving pieces here and mostly within your respective minds so something that sort of runs on a loop is preoccupying most of your thoughts. It's exhausting and stressful and all this sense of instability. Um, yeah, insecurities, lots of um, possibly um, questions around self-worth. So the opportunity is to be sensitive and compassionate uh, because this is something you're both struggling with. And I definitely feel it's both of you. And maybe there have been painful endings before between you so that we are, you know, the Ace of Cups is like a renewal of this love and the happiness it could bring. But we haven't dealt with the elephant in the room of... Um, disappointments, hurt feelings, um, worries, anxieties, issues around self-worth and self-esteem, or if you feel like there are themes around abandonment, rejection, are here as well. So the Empress is divine guidance. And there's judgment again. The open and receptive energy of the Empress to second chances, forgiveness, redemption, reunion. There's our Knight of Wands, beautiful Sagittarian energy, a passionate return. Anticipate it and be open to the forgiveness that's going to be required to move forward. Beautiful. So I do feel like this person um, has probably taken some things way more personally um, than they likely should have, but there's something, and they, and they kind of have to work through that and heal that, and that they may not be talking about it, okay? But they know that they want a second chance here. They're seeing very clearly um, that they want, you know, want you in their life here in um, this incarnation at this present moment. And they're sort of apologizing for that part of themselves that goes to dark places and that can get controlling um, and or, you know, sort of restrictive and restricted even. You're all about let's move forward here. Um, let's get to the part where we you know, compromise and, and negotiate what it is we see for the future. 
you're all into that and there and so your your problem is you kind of got to exercise the self-control and restraint because you're ready right now um but the theme is of commitment and is of moving this relationship forward and in order to do that we kind of have to go back to the drawing board and um, repair whatever there was a misunderstanding about or any kind of pain, a residual pain. Yes, we're moving past it, but if there's lingering fears, worries, doubts, um, they have to be dealt with. So be open to that. This is very interesting. It's um, kind of a nice twist for you here, Sag. Uh, what I'm gonna do is give you the astrology and then I'm gonna take it to the extended and I wanna see what's really going on with this person. So um, I, we already have their opening energy, their present energy is um, judgment. So we have that, but let's see what they're processing, what they're working through, how they see things, um, how they see you, what their intentions are, what are the hidden energies that you can't see, what might be helpful to know, um, what's their message for you. So that's what we're gonna do in the extended and the links to those are in the description box below. Um, if you find the readings helpful, please, by all means, subscribe to this channel and that allows me to continue bringing you messages um, such as these. All right, we're gonna open here with the moon is Pisces, the sun is Leo. We have the magician is Mercury, which ver uh, rules Virgo and Gemini. Jupiter here, which rules Sagittarius in the wheel of fortune. Um, judgment is here twice. That is Pluto, which rules Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, as is the devil enter the devil is also associated with Capricorn. Temperance is the higher octave of Sagittarius. I love that. We have the Queen of Swords is Libra, and um, the Hierophant is Taurus. We've got the High Priestess, more Pisces. Empress is out twice. That's Venus, uh, which rules Taurus and Libra. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. Um, and we have the Knight of Wands is Sagittarian energy. That is what I have for you. Yes, I'm going to head to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.